We have with us Ravisha uh, Sidhana, uh, and uh, she is uh, she has cleared the Delhi Judiciary with the twelfth rank. Uh, we recent results, 2023, and earlier she had cleared the Rajasthan Judiciary also with the 37th rank. 37, na? And uh, when she got the when we got the Rajasthan results, I wanted to meet her immediately, but. That is the time when I had to, I could not meet because I had to go there uh, for the medical thing. So, I was waiting for Ravisha to get to meet And uh, she also wanted. But it was a coincidence that we are getting to meet. So, I am very proud of you. God bless you. God bless you. Better with She has come all the way from Ludhiana. And uh, Ravisha used to sit here, this this part, side of the class. This ka pura group tha char panch logon ka. Sab select ho gaye. Achar nahi hai, ab nahi hai. So she used to have that group. The group means not disturbing each other. Ek ek jagah se aaye the sab to wo tha. Or bahut positive attitude, very very uh, active and. Uh, very confident. So I remember uh, the, the kind of a person she was. I say that some people get motivation from students to teach them to teach them to teach them. She was one of 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 them. And you were sitting here and sitting here and sitting here. She used to stay, sit here outside and uh, used to study. Iske saath ke baut log the, Shaina Goel bhi thi. Uh, Shaina ka bhi Dilli mein hua tha last time. Iske saath ke kaafi log the, jinka dhiri dhiri selection hua hai. And then she has cleared this time. And uh, law mein maine marks aapke saath discuss kiye the. In the law paper she has got, uh, I think highest hai ki nahi, wo to maine calculate nahi kiya. But uh, aapko topper se, uh, sirf law ki baat kare, to kuch marks jada hai. इसलिए तुम लॉ का अच्छे से बताना और तुमसे ये भी जानना चाहूँगा कि जीके वाले पेपर में कम क्यों आया तुम्हारा ये भी बताना ठीक है हेलो एवरीवन आई थिंक आई एम ऑडिबल राइट सो इट इज राजर अ वेरी इमोशनल मोमेंट यू नो बीइंग सेलेक्टेड इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग बट सिटिंग नेक्स्ट टू राहुल you know, it is really, you know, my eyes are just <laughs> sobbing right now. But uh, definitely, uh, I, uh, you know, completed my graduation in 2018. I hail from Ludhiana, Punjab. And thereafter, right after my graduation, I uh, came under the siege of Rahul sir in uh, July 16, 2018 batch. And uh, here I'm sitting, uh, being a product of uh, 13 prelims, 11 mains, and seven interviews. So, <laughs> 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 yes, so uh, I just want to communicate uh, this to you all Wonderful. that, you know, your journey might be long, but it will be worthy. So, you know, if you're really passionate about it, so never ever think of giving up like I never thought of. And after my every failure, I used to go to Rahul sir, ki, sir, nahi hua, it's bar bhi nahi hua. But he had this faith. He noticed me from the very starting. I don't know how or what did he see into me, but he noticed something. And uh, you know, that gave me the motivation and self-trust, which I had lost somewhere, that yes, I can do it. I just need to work it, work on my all the weaknesses. You know, as uh, you know, I had uh, gone through this stanza poem by uh, Rudyard Kripling, and he had this poem, if, wherein it is said that, if you can trust yourself when all the men doubt you, but make allowances for their self-doubting too. So this means that self-trust is fundamental, but you know, if there is any constructive criticism which is coming your way, so please take it. Don't be rigid about it, because that is only area that you'll be able to improve upon. So, and apart from the preparation, obviously I'll tell you that, but certain things that sir told us, and I remember that very uh, clearly, 
यू नो आफ्टर सर्टन फेलियर्स लाइक इन द फर्स्ट अटैम्प्ट ओनली आई रीच टिल द इंटरव्यू स्टेट दैट वॉज द यू पी जुडिशियल एग्जाम बट एंड यू नो आई वॉज आफ्टर सर्टन फेलियर्स आई फेल्ट लाइक नो आई एम गिविंग माई बेस्ट एंड देर इज नथिंग यू नो बैड अराउंड इट बट देन सर वन डे रोड ऑन द ब्लैक बोर्ड और वो छप गया दिमाग में कि कमी आप में है यू नो तो आई सिंक दैट थिंग इन टू माई सेल्फ कि नहीं आई हैव टू स्टॉप थिंकिंग कि आई गिव माई बेस्ट नो आई एम नॉट गिविंग माई बेस्ट एंड तो मैं कृष्णा सर से और पूरा मतलब जुड़ी रहती थी टीचर्स से भी कि क्या गलतियाँ हो रही हैं और उन पर मैं काम करूँगी जितना कहा जाएगा उससे ज़्यादा करूँगी एंड समे यू नो माइट बी देर इज़ दस ग्रेस ऑफ गॉड दैट हैड फॉल इन अपॉन मी सो येस बट यू नो over this journey i realized that you really need to understand the dynamics of mental health as well which i had suffered a lot and which mostly students they do not focus upon sir so herein i want you people to please understand the power of solitude you know because i saw that right in front of me because you need to be very cautious of the company you are in and actually you do not need anybody around yourself you know you have to make this journey so joyous for yourself that you know i used to cross metro stations just for the sake of writing a test paper and finding a library i used to you know breed bear acts and my books at you know ccd or dominos have my you know a good food there and study there also and i used to enjoy it a lot i never felt the need of you know a company there along and actually that plays a fundamental role so please be careful about it and uh, sir always you know emphasized upon good karmas and bring you know true to your own self at least if no one else because you know jab aap ghar pe bolte ho ya kisi ko bhi aap bolte ho ki aaj maine itne ghante padha aapke dil ko pata hai aap kitne ghante padhe ho but you know just for the sake of exaggeration we say that at times बट नो अगर आप चार पढ़े हो आप चार बोलो बट एटलीस्ट आपकी कॉन्शियस को पता हो कि हाँ आप इतना ही पढ़े हो एंड यू नीड टू डू मोर सो बी ट्रू टू योर सेल्फ दैट इज़ वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज देन ओनली यू विल यू विल बी एबल टू वर्क ऑन योर वीकनेसेस एंड यू नो ऑल दी अदर वलनरेबिलिटीज प्लस यू नो सर आई डिड्यूज आउट दिस रूल यू दैट माइट साउंड वेरी मकैनिकल बट वेन एवर आई यूज टू सफ़र अ इशू इन रिगार्ड्स ऑफ फैमिली और फ्रेंड्स और एनी काइंड ऑफ सोशल रिलेशनशिप सो आई हैड दिस रूल कि रवीशा यू हैव हाफ एन आवर यू कैन क्राई यू कैन हैव योर यू नो पिक अप योर मूड बट जस्ट द हाफ एन आवर आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू गेट बैक टू योर स्टडीज और इवन इफ यू नो माई रिजल्ट डिड नॉट केम वेल सो आई यूज टू टेक अ डे जस्ट अ डे देन नेक्स्ट डे आई वो लाइक ठीक है हो गया नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन बिकॉज आई जस्ट गेव अ लॉट मैनी एग्जाम बिकॉज आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू गेट सेलेक्टेड आई डि नॉट हैड एनी यू नो स्पेसिफिक प्रेफरेंस आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू बी अ जुडिशियल ऑफिसर इन एनी पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया नो मैट वॉट बट इट इज जस्ट द गॉड ग्रेस दैट यू नो आई थिंक ही गेव मी द बेस्ट स्टिल एंड सो दीज थिंग्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज द प्रिपरेशन is directly or indirectly linked with all the these side things which you might not consider but are very important so um, now sir coming to the preparation stage so if i tell you stage wise for the preliminary exam you need to be very objective and you have to focus on the best possible answer out of the four the best possible which according to you it is and as far as the delhi judicial exam is concerned i remember that we could not you know matlab held even our head up so you have to make sure that you have prepared and practiced that well that you are able to uh, you know match up the speed because the questions will be long and uh, 200 questions so you have to really speed up and because there will uh, come a time you know ki uh, where you'll feel ki you know i want to read this question twice but you will not be able to do it so you know uh, get yourself so practiced into this thing that you know you read the question and you directly mark the answer there and then because earlier in other exams i had this pattern that uh, proportionately i used to solve and fill in the omr sheet like if i have filled in uh, you know marked five questions 
then i'll uh, re uh, read it and then mark only the five in omr sheet likewise i used to go but that did not uh, go well in the delhi exam because it was very lengthy so for that you have to practice a lot and be very very clear with your concept because sir i have noticed that certain students they just uh, mechanically you know solve mcqs but focus less on the concepts so there and again the results will not be favorable so focus more on the co concepts and practice as well but more on concepts because i do not remember solving too many mcq practice books but yes i did solve the uh, preliminary uh, question banks that were given by krishna sir but not many prelim books i used to focus on the concepts only because eventually if you know that you will mark the you know correct answer for that matter and uh, as far as the mains is concerned it is the heart and soul of delhi judicial services as you know and what happened with the, me was that i had my rajasthan haryana and delhi mains uh, right within the frame of 1.5 months all the three so uh, 15 15 days gap in all the three so uh, thereby i think i could not you know in those 15 days focus much on the gk part Uh, but i was uh, sure that i want to do well on the law part at least because as much as i could i did in the gk part and for that also do not undervalue pressy writing translation or essays we tend to but we should not and uh, you know throughout uh, you know doing this preparation for several judicial exams i uh, learned that you know for as far as the pressy writing is concerned you need to be very precise and you have to reframe those sentences not copy and paste reframe the sentences in the briefest way possible and only focus on the fundamental uh, things in the pressy writing not all the irrelevant things only the relevant things should be there and obviously the word limit itself now as far as the essay part is concerned uh, introduction and conclusion will be there but you have to add the social aspect the political aspect and the uh, economic aspect all the aspects should at least be well noticed by the examiner in the different paragraphs it should not be a hot potch and uh, let me tell you that i did not had a good in writing at all so <laughs> i had to make that legible by use of a pen you know a specific pen that will suit you in a way that makes it at least legible if not very beautiful so in case anybody has that problem so you can uh, you know look for that particular special pen, pen for yourself and uh, that that pen is not any specific pen that depends upon indivi yes, sir. individual choices that's why i did not tell my pen that will be your pen <laughs> whatever feels you suitable so but that will play a role and see so your practice and the uh, presentation that will go simultaneous in the mains because i uh, see this thing that people know the content they know everything but the presentation sometimes falter in the sense that your the case laws that you have written they are not showing up to the examiner they are somewhere hidden in the paragraphs you know so you can write your case law in three lines like you know a versus b kind of or any other way that makes it visible that you have written it you know and also make sure that you divide your answer in paragraphs wherein it is shown that you know you have written your introduction but uh, you know what sir told was that focus on purpose and policy more so i used to give my introduction sir in the form of purpose and policy or the jurisprudential essence that will be my uh, you know starting in two to three lines then i'll focus upon the uh, law area the statutory provisions in world no secondly i used to frame issue and for issue be very 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 careful if you are not going through the model answers that rahul sir has jotted you down then you are missing a lot because sir i have seen this tendency that uh, you know students frame the question as it is the issue that is not at all the correct way as sir uh, you know used to tell us that hit the core what are they trying to ask mention the main ingredient in your issue framing and you know uh, related with the facts so at least i think your issue should be around 3 to 4 lines which should because see examiner will look at your answer if your issue is correct and he knows that you have understood the question 
so you know he'll be also at peace that this person has got the point so you really need to be careful about it so issue framing then i used to come on the statutory provisions in void and then i also uh, used to make sure that i quote uh, as many judgments as were within my knowledge i really worked out you know worked out the same a lot uh especially the latest judgments sir like for example you know everybody knows that if there is a question of circumstantial evidence so most of the people will mention you know sharad bridge and sharda case but you know if you supplement it with a recent landmark judgment which is very current citing that you know which these principles have all be also been reiterated by the honorable supreme court in the case of this and your year specifically and obviously supreme court so this will definitely fetch you marks so i had you know made this uh, uh, compilation of recent judgment for two years of delhi high court i also made but as much as because i had this paucity of time being involved in many exams but i uh, yeah did make a list of delhi high court cases also but for you i think more fundamental is supreme court cases so please make sure that you're working on that and uh, live law is a very good source for that and uh, uh, obviously the judgments you are catered to write the supreme court judgments so please do refer them and make the pointers write the judgment name write the main law point involved and you know this will not take you many pages if you do like that because obviously if you will write facts also then what counsel said so no only the main main law point you can go through the facts initially when you are referring to the case but don't mention it in your compilation that will make it very lengthy so my in compilation of uh, you know honorable supreme court and high court judgment was merely 15 to 16 pages of two years because that is the only way that you will be able to go through that and revise revise it again and again so make sure to be as precise as possible so these judgments will help you a lot but then uh, you know after the statutory provisions then the landmark judgment recent judgment i also used to make sure that i quote uh, you know illustrations examples which are relevant to the uh, said point and also then uh, the my appreciation of evidence used to get very long though i did not tend to but it used to get because i always believe that you should have a very flowing answer you know the way the honorable supreme court writes his judgment you can you know adopt try to adopt that pattern and if you go through that judgments daily you will definitely have that pattern in you you know so so it should be you know all the ingredients should be there in an answer that examiner cannot tell oh that you know this person has missed upon any point and then uh, appreciation got i think my uh, sir answers in 30 marks uh, used to i did not intend to be that long but it still went to uh, 3.5 or um, in other cases also four pages also because i wanted to appreciate the facts point wise and did not miss out on any point and you know and what is the relevancy under the relevant law in world so it tend to you go till that obviously you should not uh, you know get into irrelevant things but just focus on the appreciation of the facts more than anything else and definitely the issue framing will play a very vital role for you because the examiner will judge you on that so that was the main concept and uh, and the one thing that i lacked was sir gk paper definitely because of the time i just uh, you know because i had to focus on both so please uh, work hard for that you know from right now you should be very aware with the current scenario in the delhi specifically like they asked this time liquor uh, delhi liquor policy and the uh, you know true and false thing so you uh, need to allocate your time specifically for that front so make sure about that and law should uh, go simultaneous and i'll also tell you the mistakes you know which took me this time so definitely firstly i think i was uh, sir going uh, for too many states i was going everywhere whichever you know state was possible as far as the language area is concerned so i will you know advise you to please uh, you know think about what are the three or maximum four states that you want to focus upon because it affects your performance though i gained a lot of experience 
but it will affect your performance. So please shorten down your list of the states and uh, stick to them. And secondly, uh, you know, initially because of the first point, I was not able to practice answer writing sir that much. That was the another lacuna. So please never ever miss out on any prelims or mains test, do not. Because you know the mistakes that you will be told, so that will be an eye opener for you. You might consider yourself, you know, I'm doing well, but no, you will not know it until you practice it. You have to practice it uh, really hard. So that was the thing and uh, yes, thirdly, I think that uh, GK portion obviously because I was involved in too many states, so please you focus it from right now. And uh, distractions as far as is concerned, you guys know that you need to shorten down on that list as well. Because you know, I remember that phase when uh, in COVID times, the old, all the you know, uh, world scenario seemed very dismal. And uh, you know, I was talking to my, one of my relatives, sir, I wished that particular person birthday. So uh, you know, that person told me that why are you wasting your family's money? Go and get married, you know? And uh, that day was very tough. Uh, I cried a lot, but right away, I, I was not on Facebook, Instagram anytime, neither I am now. Because, so you know, that time what I did was I made my Facebook ID just for the sake I can get in contact with sir. <laughs> and you know, because my family had told me this that if you in case want to work, you can only work under Rahul sir. And I was like, right, no other place to go. So, uh, you know, I texted sir, uh, and I didn't know sir, it was a lot of time for me. So, I put a picture sir for my picture that I think sir is a lot of sir called me call kiya and that was like a big ray of hope for me because times were very difficult. And, uh, you know, sir said that okay, you can, you know, get in contact with Goma ma'am. And I said, yes, sir, in case you find me competent, so please, uh, you know, I'll... Uh, Please consider me for the same. So I got into the process with Goma ma'am and I was lucky enough to get selected. And uh, I will give this, you know, main credit of my selection in Delhi Judicial Services to the job profile that Rahul sir had, you know, showered on me, which was making the briefs of the judgments of Honorable Supreme Court. Because, you know, that makes your mind very analytical. You know, you will not waste your time, you know, in reading facts or you know, your brain will run so fast that immediately you'll know that on what lines do you need to go. So that is one thing that sir saved me. <laughs> and uh, I had, I always had that trust. Like you got a message on Facebook in the inbox. Yes sir. I asked your number. Yes sir. And I had always the faith that, faith that she will do the toughest job for me. And the toughest job for me is Framing the cases, means the Supreme Court judgments or usko paraphrase karna. That is the toughest job for any researcher. So she did that. Two years ago, you have two years more. Two years, sir. Two years, na. And what you have got in the booklets ke form, mein, judgments, that's what she has made. So I am very proud of that work that you did. Now, next yes, button, let's see who goes to it. And this work, I don't know, uh, how this is uh, happening, but whoever does that work, no, here as a researcher, who select ho jata hai. With Matlab, a very good rank. Uh, uh, with a very good rank. Everyone is getting through. So, four, five people are looking at me in front of me. Who has done this work, all the judges are going to be made. Now, this is also going to happen. Next, who is the lucky person? <laughs> So uh, definitely, uh, you know, uh, be unhindered, you know, like I believe that you should be like a rock of Gibraltar, as solid as that. You know, nothing should, uh, you know, make you feel low on your self-esteem. So even if 100 people tell you that, you know, you're not worthy or you do not, I even lack those capabilities, but I knew somewhere that, you know, I'll have to work very hard. I'm not that talented. But I was willing to do that, no matter what. And I decided that you know, till my age expires or my attempts expire, I'll continue giving, you know, because I was passionate about judicial services and I knew that I wanted this for myself and I kind of related it by my own uh, skill set. So 
and uh, so interview shall i tell yes. the interview so as far as the interview is concerned it lasted for 5 uh, to 7 minutes not that long and uh, only one panel member had uh, you know asked me the questions and as far as i got to know he uh, the person was not uh, the honorable high court judge uh, he was the registrar sir that had asked me the questions the questions were 7 to 8 regarding uh, and very basic they were not that in depth questions like per incurium hostile witness approver custodial in interrogation case d k basu case and uh, the difference between partnership and the company in terms of the liability so these were uh, almost 7 to 8 questions that i had to address and uh, it well uh, went fine from my side but uh, i was not expecting much and sir the day you know um, my result came i was all silent i just open the pdf and i start checking from the last rank i will like you know <laughs> because last in my last attempt of delhi judicial services i had secured 147th rank so i just had this opinion at least ki rank improve hua ho if not much so the last general candidate uh, was 256th so i started checking from that you know and uh, because at that point i was so uh, you know in panic i did not put my name there in i was just checking manually and will i last me hoga yaar kahin pe so i uh, kept checking the pages and i could not find my page until the first page mai is pe to first page mein to i should not even check or think like that i will like ab fir se mujhe last se check karna padega but then bas meri nazar padi first page mein i could see my name and i was like in a great shock <laughs> so this is how i got to know and only after i got to know i told everybody that ha my result is out because i did not tell anybody about that so this was the thing and uh, as sir tells that perseverance and patience will you know lead you throughout the positive mindset is the most important you know sometimes what we tend to do is that we are told about the weaknesses or the vulnerabilities that you are suffering in your preparation but we don't take it in a good spirit so you should definitely take that seek for uh, you know these corrections from as many as uh, places possible and keep evaluating yourself because self introspection is the most important thing that you should focus upon and uh, you know i can remember this quote that uh, former honorable uh, chief justice of india mr u u lalit had quoted in his uh, nagpur facilitation and he said that you know in the end it is not what you do but how you do it so that matters in the end so that is it sir you had a wonderful journey a wonderful and a bit tough journey a lot a lot tough uh, i remember the days when we used to talk uh, when she had joined uh, later on as a researcher to mujhe yaad hai sab abhi ghar mein mahol badhiya yes sir uh. <laughs> my mommy is just on the top of the world and every time she hears this she starts crying you know out of joy so you know uh, i just had this one thing that uh, i have to make my mother proud no matter what how many years it takes down the line so you know that will also keep you moving so the emotional side should also go along but you have to get mechanical on the fronts where you know that wasting your energy uh, will not be of any use so you know because we tend to harm ourselves or affect ourselves a lot due to certain irrelevant factors so i request you all to kindly you know work on that and be very strong because that will what will lead you through this beautiful journey and now i don't even remember you know i just have these figures that i gave me these many main interviews and but now you know it it seems like that it was really really worth it because i learned a lot you know that where my lacking so uh jo bhi uh, sir aapko karate hain copies mein barracks mein that is the key to delhi judicial services right and you also need to keep updated yourself with the mains answer writing you know questions question bank of uh, you know previous year of delhi judicial services because that will give you an idea of the questions and you will not you know because don't take it very lightly that you know i'll go there and you know i'll see the question and I'll write them no 
you'll feel like you know do page ka to question hai how do i evaluate it and how do i write the answer so please practice it uh, thoroughly and uh, i think that uh, book is uh, uh, if i'm not singles publication uh, that is of unsolved question papers of all judicial services exam and therein you'll find the uh, you know dgs uh, previous year papers so uh, you'll be able to do very well if you go through that and frame your answers only in the way that sir tells you follow that because at the end aapko fir se wahi kholna padega maintain only one source uh, that was the another uh, pitfall that i had because you know at that uh, point of panic i used to you know try to refer many things no just keep one source for your mains and keep adding to it keep your additions to it as far as the uh, latest law is concerned so keep jotting it down have some extra space and uh, you'll be through very soon god bless you and uh, i am very very happy very happy <laughs> and uh, very proud also when i saw your law marks no i was so happy matlab aapko 163 aaya civil law 2 paper mein and uh, that is cpc wala paper na cpc wala uh, and sir usme bhi there is this story i still got 163 but uh, you know the previous day exam and this exam uh, it had the change of timings to uh, sir mai clock matlab mai haath pe ghadi nahi pehen ke jaati thi i just used to look at the clock to uspe mai ko na i don't know how did it uh, came to me mujhe aisa laga ki exam is going to end you know एंड मैंने इतनी स्पीड में लिखा इतनी स्पीड में मैंने आधे घंटे पहले पेपर कम्प्लीट कर लिया बिकॉज आई विल लाइक नो मैटर वॉट हैपन्स यू नो यू विल कम टू दिस टाइम जब ऐसे होता है कि हाथ चल नहीं रहे होंगे आपके आपको लग रहा होगा इतना पेन हो रहा है ना हाथ में नम हो गए एकदम बट योर हैंड शुड नॉट स्टॉप एट ऑल यू नो योर माइंड शुड नॉट स्टॉप योर हैंड शुड नॉट स्टॉप एंड दैट इज द ओनली वे दैट यू विल बी एबल टू कम्प्लीट द पेपर एंड मिस्टेक कम्प्लीटेड हाफ एन आवर यू नो अर्लियर सिविल और टू पेपर सर सो आई हैड टू राइट सर्टन क्वेश्चन इन अस्ट बिकॉज इन दैट यू हैव गॉट द सेकेंड हाइएस्ट हाइएस्ट मेरे ख्याल से हमारे ही स्टूडेंट है एक अनुभव अनुभव बिजलवान उसको वन सिक्सटी फोर आया है and uh, tumhara 163 hai 163 uh, so that is the second highest uh, to my knowledge and one more person has got 163 uh, we mere paas hai nahi wo ji sir to ek to isme itne marks le aaye fir ye tumhara civil law 1 mein you have got 137 that is very good score thank you sir. and sabse interestingly criminal law mein you have got 134 yes sir तो क्रिमिनल लॉ में जनरली लोगों को उतने आते नहीं है कुछ लोगों को आए हैं लेकिन जनरली नहीं आते तो व्हाट इज दैट स्पेशल दैट यू डिड इन क्रिमिनल लॉ पेपर सी क्रिमिनल लॉ पेपर इज ऑल अबाउट हाउ यू यू नो ब्यूटीफुली राइट योर आंसर इन द मैनर दैट यू नो स्पेसिफिकली यू नो वी रीड एविडेंस सो मेनी टाइम्स वी रीड क्रिमिनल प्रोसीजर कोड सो मेन बट you know we miss out on the fundamental concepts and we do not write them and plus i think presentation makes a very very uh, you know plays a fundamental role into this so for that purpose even i in my previous test papers if i can recall i did not used to get very good marks in criminal paper but you know that will only come if you read as many as criminal judgments as possible and you learn to evaluate okay this sentence is written in the facts that mean this is related to last seen theory okay this is written so this relates to motive because you have to evaluate everything in the sense that you write upon the concept also a bit and the examiner knows that you have related it with the current facts the provision involved and uh, cases will definitely i also used to make this a point that whatever uh, you know good lines that i used to get from the judgments i used to add it into my uh, notes by sir so you know keep uh, brushing your copies in that sense and uh, don't miss out on any detail which is important because every fact will be important in your criminal law paper and in the end you uh, you know you might in the criminal law paper you will see that you know you think that the answer should come in a certain way but while you will be writing uh, you know your uh, mind will say that no it will lead to a particular fact only so go as per the facts as you will write the answer and the first 15 minutes what i used to do that i used to get 
because you have to select the questions so first of all make sure that you already know that which questions you are going to attempt in those 15 minutes you have to go through the question very quickly question paper and then i also used to underline the main facts and already have this in mind that you know where my answer will go or in which direction it will go but later on also if you think that you missed upon a particular fact because you'll second time read the question again when you'll attempt the same so let it flow in that pattern because delhi judicial services is all about your reasoning ability and how well you can put in your logic into it right so paraphrasing is very important including all the ingredients of a good answer as we have discussed is very important judgments and issue framing as i tell you but uh, the appreciation should be point wise it should not be a very lengthy uh, paragraph that you make it but point wise you should appreciate no needs of headings in that but point wise will work good you know that you know here in uh, i'm appreciating the evidence that uh, you know the laws discussed below so therein you can point wise appreciate the same and uh, concluding is uh, obviously the must thing but never forget to write the purpose and policy behind whatever uh, main question is involved and there be overlapping of laws in between so you have to appreciate all the related laws but in the briefest manner possible and just more focus on the main thing that they are asking you can mention a bit that you you know know also that this law is related into it but focus on the main question and the main issue only and go into that direction so that is it sir i am i am very very proud of you not only because you have cleared the exam but yes, the sir. but because of the way you have spoken uh, she has made everything very clear i am very proud of you thank you so much uh, that sir. is that is called clarity of thoughts yes, that is called clarity of thoughts very good very because good because you are here so you will definitely get that clarity and because obviously you need that clarity of things because that will eventually lead you to your consequent uh, you know result wherever you want to get placed so and definitely almighty will bless you all and uh, you know we already had this reflection of almighty that we used to see और ऐसा होता था कुछ दिनों पे दैट यूज टू फील वेरी लो और ऐसा था कि बस सर दिख जाए और सर सिर पे हाथ रख दे तो ऐसा लगता था कि सब ठीक हो जाएगा या तो ठीक है या हो जाएगा सो यू नो वी हैड दैट काइंड ऑफ इमोशन विद सर तो इसीलिए आई वाज वेटिंग कि बस सर से मिलूँ चाहे यू नो प्राइवेटली मिलूँ या क्लास में बट सर से मिलना है डेफिनेटली तो दैट ड्रीम हैज कम ट्रू टूडे so i wish you all very best and um, sir any other uh, query that i need to address done you can ask if there is anything involved <laughs> everything is done everything you have cleared so let us do the ceremonial now <laughs> <laughs> yes the most uh, exciting Tumha, part for the uh, tumhara llb kahan se kiya tumne wo nahi likh paya matlab which uh, college uh, yes so i completed my llb from punjab university regional center which was in uh, my uh, place only ludhiana i did not do it from chandigarh but my, from my place itself ludhiana and right after i came here that was a regional center yes sir it was the there are three regional centers under punjab university and one of them was ludhiana center so i did my llb from that in 2018 itself and then joined sir and uh, rest is <laughs> the history <laughs> that i told you thank you so much for your all the precious time and thank you so much sir khush <laughs> rakh sir god bless you god bless you this is a small plant for you and i hope you will be able to carry it to ludhiana yes sir definitely <laughs> this is the bouquet for you thank you sir these are your chocolates <laughs> no, it is, <laughs> <laughs> no, i don't think i'll eat these chocolates i'll keep them just <laughs> god bless you so these will be the immortal chocolates thank you chalo sir. and uh, aao fir delhi milte hain yes sir ab dushi has to be here only yes sir hmm. <laughs> okay then we meet tomorrow